Korea, it's it's really nice in the way, in the sense that it's a, definitely a first world first world country. It's very developed. So I, I mean, it, it's not like such a huge culture shock in the sense that oh man, this place is disgusting and dirty and and people are very uncouth. No, it's not like that. I mean, there are certainly areas where you're going to find that a little bit, but it's definitely got a very good infrastructure. But obviously, there are definitely huge culture differences that are, that'll take some getting used to. Um, at least in the Taejeon mission, uh, you are allowed to go to bathhouses um, in Korean, and they're called mogyotangs. And I was told about them before the mission, and I, for some reason in my head, I thought that it's going to be like a place where you could go sit in a hot tub with like a bathing suit or something. I was very, very wrong. I, I got there the first day, or that night, around 5, 5 p.m., and then I woke up the next morning around 6, all the, the elders in the Pombu, or the, the mission home, uh, woke me up, and we were running down the street towards uh, this bathhouse. And the whole time I, w I was kind of nervous about it because before we even left, I was grabbing my swimsuit and my towel and, and one, of the, one of the office elders was like, Elder, you don't need that. And I was like, why don't I need that? And, and so I'm kind of panicking in my head. And so we were running down the street and we get to the bathhouse and I noticed they had these jumpsuits at the front desk that you could get. And, and I was like, oh good, we're going to get these jumpsuits. That's why we don't need them. They're going to provide this stuff for us. And then the elder says, "No, you're not gonna, you're not gonna use those either." And so then my, my, my nervousness and my fears are just escalated. And so then we get upstairs, and and finally we walk through the locker room, and yep, sure enough, everyone was stark naked. And that person, I was terrified of that. I, I, <laughs> that the, the overall shock, I guess, from the because I, I grew up in a family where. We, we we were very very private <laughs> about that, and so the overall shock was was very was very traumatic for me. But eventually, I got I got over that very quickly, and eventually, you know, you, you just you just get over that, and it, it ends up being okay. And it actually ends up being it was actually a fun experience, just because the whole Mogyo Tang is or the bathhouse is actually quite fun. It, it's very relaxing. So the first week, though, I mean, was probably the longest weeks of my life because you're getting used to working for 16 hours a day. That's just missionary life. Um, but it's good work, and, it, and it's it's hard just because you're getting used to realizing that you're going to be doing this for two years, and and you're you're going you're going talking to people and getting lots of rejections, and and every once in a while finding finding little miracles here and there. Um, and it was tough for me just because I, I, coming out of the MTC into the, into the, into the field, I, I felt like I hadn't learned anything. <laughs> and just because my Korean was, uh, it was very, really, very mediocre. It was pretty awful, actually. And so I thought, I thought I'd be a little bit better than how I was during the first week. But it, it was amazing to me, though, in the, in the first transfer and the first two transfers, how much I was able to improve with, the, with being immersed in the culture and the, in the country. Um, it your progression accelerates because of that. As far as other culture aspects, though, um, I I learned very quickly that a lot of the Korean culture has to do with food. Uh, food is quite important, and so my best piece of advice if you're trying to pick up on the culture very quickly is when you go and sit down to eat with members is to pay close attention um, to what they do. There's a word in Korean that's, that you may hear um, often from members that I think is very, very important and it was important to me on my mission. It's called nunchi. Um, and what that essentially means is uh, it's kind of like perceptiveness. Essentially you need to perceive what people are doing and and it's kind of like when in Rome do as the Romans do. Look at what they do, look at what, how they eat. Um, um, how, notice how they, they, they mix and mash and they, and they share everything. That's very important and and that was something that I, I noticed and I tried to pick up on. Um, Koreans have, do have a little bit of expectation that, especially since you're a missionary, you're going to be there for a little while members are going to be are going to try to encourage you to eat and get used to Korean food such as kimchi so 
just be prepared for that. <laughs> I would say that do you do your best to eat as much kimchi as possible because they will ask you if you're not eating something. Why are you not eating it? And, they'll, they, and so to avoid offense, I would recommend just be, just be, be polite as possible and try, and try to eat um, whatever is given to you.